Welcome back to Today in AZ. The sizzling heat is on with a third straight day of 115 degree and up temperatures. So staying cool isn't just important for us humans. Animals suffer from these scorching temps as well. You can only imagine some were born to survive in the desert, but others take a little bit more energy to thrive out here. Team Tall's Trisha Hendricks is live at the Phoenix Zoo this morning with an up close and personal look at how they're keeping the wildlife cool this summer. Cool assignment, Trisha, good morning. Very cool assignment, guys, especially in the morning with all the sights and sounds here at the Phoenix Zoo. Just absolutely beautiful. But like you mentioned, things are going to get sizzling hot again, 115. And like you said, some of the animals are born and bred to be able to withstand the extreme heat, like camels, ostriches, and desert tortoises, which we're going to see in the next hour. But others, not so much. It does require a little bit more attention and energy. And the folks here at the Phoenix Zoo are meeting the needs of the animals as we speak. Joining us live this morning is Director of Marketing, Linda Hardwick. Great to see you. You too. Thanks for being here so bright and early. And we can count on you. Thanks for having us. Right here is something, it's interactive. We can always count on you for I showing know, us right? things. Tell right. us what you've got here. So we just have a simple ice tray. This is something that would be perfect for birds or porcupine. Even primates would love this. It's, it's Gatorade, obviously frozen with some nuts inside. And this is definitely something that our keepers will give to our animals on hot days such as today as well all this week. Yes, you also have blood sickles and fish sickles. Otter pops for the otters. We love that kind of stuff. But like you were saying, you know, we have a whole Arizona trail that's all Arizona native species. So we really specialize in animals that thrive here in our climate because we are a really unique climate. We've got Mexican gray wolves, coyotes, javelinas. You're going to find those things native to Arizona. So the heat doesn't bother them, but our keepers are all about the watching the behavior of the animals. With our carnivores, our keepers are going to look for panting, heavy breathing. We have air conditioned climate control night houses we can bring our animals into. With our primates, we're going to look for any signs of lethargy that the heat may be getting to them. And again, they have day rooms that are air conditioned for our orangutans. We've got night houses that are cool and comfortable. And right now the zoo hours are 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we really do avoid the really hot hours of the day. Wonderful. Doing everything you can to keep the animals cool. And that's how here at the Phoenix Zoo they're keeping cool this summer but here's how you can keep your house pets happy and healthy in the heat now every year the arizona humane society responds to hundreds of calls of animals in heat distress after being left outside so first things first bring your pets inside it's just too darn hot for them to be out right now. We definitely don't want to scorch any paws. And that also means limiting walks to very early morning or later evening hours and avoiding hikes. Protect their paws. Again, the Arizona Humane Society recommends dog booties, but if your pup won't wear them, a good rule of thumb is to test the pavement. If it's too hot for your hand, it's definitely too hot for a dog on a walk. And just like us humans, hydration is key. Put out extra water, and that's something that we definitely need as well. So bring a water bottle with you, pack one in your car or in your backpack. You can definitely not get too much water here in the hot summer in the desert. Back to you in the studio.